is uh, it's whatever. Um, but like, I feel like like a lot of a lot of times, you know, like me being sensitive to energy. Like if somebody's gonna go and share like they hate their ex poem, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be hating them at the end of it too, you know. But if someone was to go up there and say they forgive they ex poem, I'm going to really feel like, nah, this, That's you, it's not even about him anymore. Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's dope. Like, you know, like, yeah. I'm proud of you, you know, because it's like you didn't let that get to you. And a lot of times we hold on to things. We allow our pain to become our, become our identity. You know, like I've had plenty of experience with open mics that was just like two constants, you know, and I'm going to explain one um, in a minute, but there was this open mic that I went to, that I used to go to, mm. and I don't, they're not doing it anymore. It was called Crystals and Candy. Mm. Cool name, too. And when I say, like, this was the, like, when I, like, it was like I would not miss one. And it was like a monthly thing. Like, I'm like, nah. Like, no, it wasn't even a month. I don't know it was a monthly thing. It was like, the person who did it, her name was Flo. And she's like, young. She's a young spiritual guru. Like, she's probably like 23 right now. You know? Like, probably like 22, 23. And this was, this was like 2016. You know? So she was like 19. But like, I don't know, like, spiritually advanced. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because she was bringing the healing. And it, it was, it was amazing. Um, when I say like the place, like the the, the event was specifically healing, That's like dope. from the like she, we did a whole lot of like activities, like healing activities, in between people performing. So it was like an open mic, but people she would do have healing activities like affirmations, meditation, and it was it was like you knew that you were coming in for. Like you didn't come here to get snaps and claps, right? You know, and get people feeling sad for you and saying forget your ex. Like, you came for the activities. Like, if you came late, you knew, like, you missed, like, two activities. And I, you know, like, you missed the opening know. activity. Right. She did, like, readings and all different types of things at That's the open mic. Cool. So, specifically yeah. for healing. That's rare. I haven't been to one like that since. I've been to open mics where they try to do certain stuff, but it's not specific. It's not to the point. You know, I try to do certain stuff at my, at my open mics, like, ask people, What's one thing that made him smile today? Do affirmations, share affirmations from my book, perform songs that I feel like a hill of music and stuff like that when I can, and you know, joke a lot, keep people laughing. But what I don't like to do is talk too much about consciousness. That when I host up a mic because I know we could go on for hours. And of once course. you started, and this person, everybody got something to say. Right. But deep down, you might be having issues with your moms. You might be had, you know what I'm saying. You might be getting abused mm -hmm. physically over here. You might be in a domestic violent relationship over here. You might have money issues over there. So it's just like, why are we even talking about? Exactly. Why are all of us with all these things going on in our lives? What, what does Trump have to do with anything? What does building a wall have to do with anything? What does, you know, what does the solution for all problems, all black problems, have to do with anything in this moment when you ain't dealing with what you with got what going you, on exactly. in your personal life. Exactly. And that's why I feel like spirituality is like, if, if you're a spiritual person, you're dealing with the things going on in your life. If you're conscious, you might be so distracted by what's going on around you mm -hmm. that you're not dealing with things in your life. I'm not saying that that's always the case. I know plenty of conscious people that are balanced spiritually and conscious, but I'm just speaking on the spectrum. You yeah. Know, if that's generally what it is. So, like, can you tell me, like, first of all, tell the audience when, when, like, like, when you were in your conscience, you know, phase, yeah. what were you like? Were you reciting poems out over mics, making people, making people who hate Obama? <laughs> was you, <laughs> was you, like, you know, one of the, Let's take down the so, system, you know what I'm saying? Right. You got some old conscious poems that's like you'll never say again. I actually <laughs> don't. That's funny. Like my my journey in a way is more is is poetic itself. I wasn't actually 
writing and expressing and, you know, like going to open mics and stuff. So, which, I mean, I'm not, I was going to say which I'm happy about, but I don't really have a feeling toward it. Um, so the journey itself to me is poetic in nature. And when I look back at it, um, my main form of, ex form of expression was through my social media. So I would, you know, like you would go onto my Instagram and you wouldn't see one picture of me. The because typical conscious page exactly yeah. you would see just tons of information and i was a re i, I just if i liked it and re i would repost it and you know just put my own spin on it and more so i was telling everybody to live i was also a new vegan at that point so i was in the state of convincing people like this is the way to live like you you can't eat meat like we're destroying the world we're destroying this and i'm not and i'm not saying this facetiously like i'm not trying to make a joke about it that's really how passionately i felt about what i was doing and what i found is that i was really i was turning people off i was turning my friends against me um, because every I was like this activist, like, you know, I felt so strongly and passionately about living right, you know, and, 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 and fighting the government and um, engaging in self-sufficiency. Like, we shouldn't be de depending on the government for food and clothing and, and shelter. Like, let's just remove, our, move, remove right. ourselves from the system. Live off the grid. And, yeah, and yeah. exactly. And I really had that idea in mind. Not that I still don't have that idea in mind. It'll be, it'll be cool. But you can have both like you can really live happy in the in this system right because it's not it's not physical you know what i mean like you're not you're not fighting it physically it's it's all within and it when i look back on it it's a testament of just my growth my personal growth like where i was at that moment i was not as woke as i thought i was right. you know what i mean and that's that's what i see you know, a lot of people are complaining and talking about the presidency and the government and da 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 But like you said, like you're not happy. There's, there's things that's going on in your personal life that you you actually have control of. Like you can actually fix it via affirmations and listening to positive things and, and changing your perspective and things like that. So I was, I was be, although I wasn't performing, I would say the main, the main source of my thoughts and my passion was through my social media. Um, and that did turn people off. So I would probably be looking at me two years, three years ago, like, damn, okay, you're doing too much. Right. You know what I mean? But I, I respect the process. I respect my growth. And now I am more on the spiritual side in terms of like how we're defining it in this conversation. And, you know, not really talking about that outside stuff. Like it's all happening within, like, I'm able to live in America right now. I'm able to be fake broke. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just like be middle class and be really happy with what I have. Because yeah. I do know that I'm, um, I'm, I'm abundant in nature. So there's nothing, nothing negative. Okay. But, um, you know, like I, I've been there too. You know, I don't know if I said that. <laughs> like I've been on my conscience my page was a bunch of everything yeah just memes and posting information and yeah. all of that and i went through phase i went through a phase where i just like deleted every post mm -hmm. i didn't make a new page i just deleted literally every post to the point where it's like instagram is like you can't delete anymore like i don't know if you ever got there but like you're trying to delete no. and then they're like thinking like you know they could just like stop you like you know you can't delete anymore you've deleted too many posts today oh wow you know, i've unfollowed no, I everyone I and it's there. like you can't unfollow anyone you don't you know like i don't know if there's like an algorithm where it's like it might be a hack page or spam like yeah. they just stop you yeah i've deleted so much to the point where i had to be stopped like i you know deleted all my posts deleted all my followers and i'm just i'm gonna start over mm -hmm. you know when i started over so like i've been the same way like you know like Maybe not trying to convince people to... I was never, like, trying to convince people to be vegan or, excuse me, or believe in anything. But I was always, like, one of those, like, provoking you to think about something. Mm -hmm. way. Like, I would post the meal, post something healthy, post ingredients for stuff. And I would post, like, even when it comes to religion, I would post, like, stuff about... 
you know, questionable things. Like, what is this? Like, this doesn't make any sense. Right. But I was never the type to be like, you know, like, I'm, I, I don't know. I was never the type to be like, you know, save the animals. I'm like, that's not, I don't, <sighs> like, I, I, don't I, get me wrong. I'm not with the, like, animal cruelty yeah, is bad stuff. Exactly. It ain't right, but I'm not in, I don't. I don't know. Like, I don't know if I should be that. I, I feel like personally. I got to a thing, check yourself point too. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I, I feel like personally, what? Like, like I don't, I don't know if we're being controlled. Like, mm. You know, mm. like exactly. I, I'm very skeptical about the fact that, like, maybe there is. Who is inventing these memes? Like, there's some... Who's inventing these memes? Who's inventing these these articles? Who's posting these videos? Who's creating these things? And why is it being allowed? And how has it become a trend? Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's like a jump on a bandwagon consciousness. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like jump on a bandwagon and, and be an online revolutionary. So mm -hmm. I always felt like, this is not me. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not... It's like a thing to be a revolutionary exactly. online. It's like a thing to show up to a protest, throw your fist up in a sign, take a picture, standing next to someone who has a cool sign, and then we post it, and we're like, we need to get the word out and stop this stuff. And, you know, and it's like, to me, it's like not real. Yeah, it's like, I agree. It's not real, mm -hmm. and it's like we're being controlled in a way. Like I, I don't know if we're actually being controlled, but in a way, I feel like it's trendy. And if it's a trend, you're being controlled. Not like it's people telling us what to do, yeah. but it's like a trend has been made, and if you follow it, you're being controlled in a way. It's like, oh, he can post about consciousness. I can post about consciousness. He says we're getting the word out. Oh, so that means we're like actually spreading awareness. That's a fact. Oh, he says we're spreading awareness. What I mean, so it must be the thing to do. I was woken up by this guy who spread awareness. I need to wake somebody up who's spreading who, by spreading awareness. And it's like, who created this system that's not even effective because nothing is really changing. Nothing is really. So happening. it's just like it's it's to At me all. it's like it's a, it's a waste of time. But it it's not, you know. Everything has its purpose. Consciousness has its purpose. Spirituality has its purpose. But I feel like when we take it to the stream, we're kind of like wasting wasting our time. So yeah. like, yeah, I don't know if I want to be a part of the conscious community. You know? Yeah, I I I just believe in literally doing your own thing. Like when you th there is a point. There always always comes a point. Even if you're a bandwagoner or even when something does not sit right with you, you know? So even if you, you define yourself as this revolutionary and you're going to change the world and, you know, you're in this group and, you know, you guys have this focus on how you're going to you go go about you making these changes in our community and all that good stuff, there always comes a point where you have the opportunity to check yourself. And that's where, you know, I... I that's what I resonate with. Like, cause it's always, it's always gonna, we're community like species. You know what I mean? Like we, we need each other at the end of the day. Um, whether it's to create or to be loved on or to love or, you know, like we, we need each other. So that's not really the argument, but what, com what becomes, what becomes the argument is how we're going about it and you being able to speak up and saying, you know what, that don't sit right.